I participate in early childhood education one. You take the intro class in the 10th grade, and then your um, 11th and 12th grade year, then you take that as um, as an actual two period class. We learn about how to work with the child, and we learn about the development of the child, and it's really interesting. It's a program for high school kids who want to become teachers or work with some type of kids in the future where you go and you learn about the kids and interact with the kids and at the end of the two years you get your license to go on and teach or work in a daycare or you could further your education with um, going to college and doing something a little bit more. We go to teach on a Wednesday and then we get our next set of lesson plans on a Thursday. What we do with the kids is we take lesson plans and we try to teach them and help them like Whatever area that we can, we try to strengthen them in that area. So if our teacher will give us the prompt, she'll give us a letter, and she'll tell us we have to do a craft, and then she'll give us another instructional tool to do. So it's based on whatever I want to do to cover those areas. And as, once I get it all together, she checks it to make sure that it's appropriate for my kids. Like this week we're on um, the letter R, so they're doing a rain cloud with a rainbow. So they'll do a craft like um, based on the letter and then I'll go into another instructional thing like we're doing weight. So I made a scale so they can understand the difference of balancing unequal and equal proportions. Days that we're not doing lesson plans, we are learning about actually how to teach a child and how to teach a child with certain needs. So if a child has a learning disability, you have to teach them different than someone that doesn't have a learning disability. Or a child may learn better with hands-on, and another child may learn better just by listening to lectures all day. So you have to learn what your child needs and accommodate them by their ability or not ability to do what they can do. The FCCLA competition is for students to compete for scholarship money. There are multiple different topics you can do one on like teaching and training a child. You can do one actually on lesson plans, how to do your lesson plan and what you put into your lesson plan. You get certified in early childhood education, which means that um, after you graduate high school and you get your certification, you are able to work in a daycare or you get to work in a preschool. And then you also get college credits for it.